set. <laughs> Welcome back. There you go. We basically built this whole bike around this can. Get sponsored by Mick yeah. Ultra. If Mick Ultra wants to sponsor us. I'm not there, but so welcome back. <laughs> we, just, we just want to wish you a happy birthday. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. No problem, man. All right. All right. I am tired of riding around parking lots with no helmet on. It's not the cool kids kind of way. Um, I'd much rather be riding a motocross track for the first ride, but I am going to ride around the parking lot and show you guys at least what it can do. And then we're going to do a bolt check. We're going to take this thing to, I guess, a little ride area. Maybe find a track. I just want to go to Scott's track, but that's in New York. So. See if, uh, see if what is it, Moto Land? Yeah. See if they'll let me on the big track. I'm not riding a vet track with like 20 foot tape. National off. track. It's not going to happen. Got the slipper on. <laughs> these 20 inch tires this is decent for like 18 inch tires so i'm actually going to change the gearing before i take it out in the dirt it's reasons like that that i test around around the parking lot it's just simple stuff that i can more or less catch instead of wasting my time and going all the way out there um this thing rips man can't do a lot out here um i'm gonna keep it off the road today just gonna rip up and down the parking lot a little bit and then bring it back inside and we're gonna do a full bolt check uh, we're going to check literally the whole bike top to bottom. These things vibrate, so you're going to have bolts loosen up. Uh, everything we put together was Loctite. It's between Loctite and nylon nuts. Let's hope it all stays together. Yeah, this thing is uh, it's a blast. It looks so good in the sun. Yeah, it's pulling a little <laughs> bit to one side again. I got to tweak the tire pressure. Um, we didn't even check it yet, you know. We just kind of got it together. 
we were excited. The thing was completely apart yesterday and towards the end of the day we got it all together. So RJ was the first one to start it after it was all together. And if you guys didn't notice, we basically built this whole bike around this can. <laughs> I mean, this, you get sponsored by Mick yeah, Ultra. If Mick Ultra wants to sponsor us, I think <laughs> I think this is worth a photo shoot, guys. I mean, comment yeah. if you like Mick Ultra. I know we like it. Yeah, it's basically, we designed this whole bike around this can. <laughs> so you're going to have that. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and cold, too. Yeah. You want to try around it real quick, just right here? I'm not going to go hard on it. No, no. Just, I'm not either. Like I said, it's pulling a little bit. Uh, we never even set the tire pressure yet. Um, we did that in the last, I think, three builds. We, uh, we were just too excited. <laughs> Alex got all these tires mounted up and we threw them in on the bike and basically we're ready to go for a test ride. But it's all stuff we check before the bikes leave. And this one, it's not leaving. It's not leaving. So if you want one, you gotta have us build one. I'm trying to hang on to some of these. Oh, you had it. <laughs> we're not we're not using the decompression release. This is just regular kicking with our billet kicker. Hmm. It's a shorty too, so. try it out he's been a big part in all this stuff he's powder coating all of our parts he's welding the pile of parts along with drew they're both doing a lot of welding on all these builds so it's only right he takes it for a ride so <laughs> first person other than me basically it might scare him a little bit <laughs> oh, he, no, he, know, he knows the gearing's tall right now you can tell he's got wicked tall gearing Everyone keeps asking, like, why would you change a 450 to a 500? These motors rip, guys. Do some research. There's dyno runs. Check out, uh, I think it's Captain America. He has all these dyno runs of, like, all these bikes. It's unreal. Pretty sick, right? Yeah. It's a sick build, though. I, I'm so happy with it, man. I, I, it's almost too clean to ride. Like, yeah. it feels weird even riding it. But we're going we're gonna to take this thing out in the dirt. We're going to murder it. We're going to torture test it maybe take it to the dunes take it to the dunes put um, some paddles on it let some customers ride it maybe we'll see yeah if we're thinking about five, doing a dune day if you own a 500 i'll let you ride it if you don't oh. own a 500 sorry you gotta build one <laughs> um, yeah. no like starting these things is all technique um you got your timing right you got your motor right everything's sound it, other than that it's technique you gotta get it to top there's a little a little bit past top and give that thing a full kick with your heel. This is a shorty kicker, so if you come yeah, around I here. Yeah, I say, I definitely recommend this kicker. It's like... Yeah, so there's something, something about having, if you guys ever watch Happy Gilmore, shout out to Matt Seeger. He, uh, he said it looked like the stick from uh, Happy Gilmore. <laughs> it kind of does. Got our logo on there. Now when you do kick these, your, your foot peg is gonna stop it. So you are gonna get little scuffs on it because you're basically using your, your foot peg as a stopper, but this is a shorty ass kicker. I mean, the stock one's like way up here. You guys see how easy this thing starts. Um, it's all stock, basically stock compression, you know? And we do have a decomp head, but you don't need it. Um, you really don't need it. And honestly, I think for cold starting, I like to not use a decomp head. I think it starts better. Um, so guys, we're asking about this headlight. So this is, uh, I believe, 86 250R mm -hmm. headlight shell from Mayer. I made a couple of side brackets. I basically drilled out the rivets um, that they had on there and I reused the holes, put some side brackets in there to hold this screen forward. If you guys are interested in these, you gotta comment and let me know. I could probably sell the whole deal as a kit with the brand new straps. Um, yeah, I think it looks sick. So I could put that right on the website if you guys are interested in that. I mean, this will fit any bike that we build. Uh, it'll fit the 250Rs, it'll fit the 350Xs if you don't want to run a headlight, but I just like the look of that. It also acts like an air scoop, so it's kind of neat. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, this thing has our full 500 bolt-in kit for a 2022 frame. So, you guys can go on bvcoffroad.com. You can see running from the head stay to the, the billet engine cradle. So there's no welding required. This is full bolt into a 22 frame.
Love that JSV pipe, man. Shout out to them. That thing is beautiful. I need to get on the phone and give him a call. Like he wants to uh, do a little phone call meeting and feel bad. I haven't had time. But maybe after this, I'll uh, hit him up. But yeah, we want to talk about future products. Um, we're going to be offering their exhaust on our website. And these guys, I believe, are from like Belgium. So it's a little bit delayed. So if you did order a Bolton kit, we're going to have, I think, 10 more of these ready to go. The pipe for this is going to take a little bit longer. Um, you are going to do mid pipe mods on these. There's no way around it just to uh, get this on a trike or get it on the uh, the 22 chassis. But I'll uh, pull the seat off right here. I haven't showed under the seat yet. So we do not have an air box on this yet. When Drew gets back from, uh, he was out this week, well, half the week. So when he gets back, I'm gonna have him all up a aluminum air box for this bad boy. So that is an option. But uh, right now we just got the, the intake hanger on there with the normal air filter that we run on all the trikes. So you guys see the seat post relocator made some brackets here. These are the OEM bolts, so they do stick out a little bit longer. I'm actually gonna replace those with shorter ones. But uh, yeah, other than that, I still gotta tie in the plastic right here. We didn't bolt that down yet, you know? We were, like I said, we were just we we're just ready to ride this thing. We are excited. Um, we just wanna ride it. I wanna get it done, show you guys. Everybody's been asking about it. And it's, it's one of them builds. I mean, it took a long time for me to get to it. I thought it was time to do one for myself and one for the shop that we're gonna hang on to and have it as a showpiece. So if COVID ever fucks off and leaves us alone, uh, we might have a showroom, a little display set up. We'll have this and uh, the other 500 dirt bike, maybe the KTM 300 and a couple other big wheels. We're gonna be doing a YZ250 big wheel soon. So once all that stuff goes away, guys, uh, we'll have the showroom open, but until then it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Um, don't wanna catch the old Delta. Yeah, Delta, is, <laughs> Delta, 50, is it the Delta right? Force variant? Yeah, I don't. Now there's like a booster shot. Or yeah, boosters and variants and all this cool shit. So, well, we're gonna go back inside and uh, we gotta do some work on his Polaris Razor, and then we're out of here. We're gonna take the rest of the day and chill for a little bit, and probably be back here on Sunday doing some other stuff. I'm maybe gonna ride it tomorrow in the dirt. So, I gotta find a spot. I gotta get all my gear together. I'm an old man. I don't ride anymore. Um, gotta start riding more than once a month. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. That was sketchy. I know I know it's Alex's birthday, but we're gonna have to have a little talk with him. I think that tire's got like eight PSI and that one looks like 40. I'm like, this thing is, uh, you can see the difference. You can see it in the video. Come on, Alex. I'll come back, Alex.